hello guys welcome back to xtech uh, let's just do a quick comparison on oneplus 7 pro and the vivo next 3 so let's just quickly uh, play a video a hd video and see how it looks on the both screens so uh, let me tell you about the screens on uh, both the devices uh, so vivo next 3 has Eight, uh, sorry 6.89 inches full HD plus super AMOLED screen and oneplus 7 pro has 6.67 inches quad HD plus fluid AMOLED so shouldn't be any problem with the, with the displays on the, on the both devices because uh, they really look stunning as you can see on both phones uh, uh, set the resolution to 1080p so as you can see it looks stunning and the vivo especially um, the side bezels completely blends in with the screen and on the oneplus 7 pro there is a little bit of uh, let's say a border on the both phones uh, we have a 16 megapixel of pop-up camera and uh, I think uh, they are both same when it comes to raising the front facing camera and uh, there shouldn't be any problem um, on the vivo uh, sorry on the oneplus 7 pro is just giving you a, just a reminder not to uh, switch on uh, switch uh, the cameras uh, too fast so as we saw both uh, phones got really nice stunning screens but uh, when it comes to uh, sound quality i think uh, vivo next 3 could have done a little bit better because uh, oneplus 7 pro uh, got dual uh, surrounding speakers and for me uh, it's really really uh, nice when i'm trying to watch videos and movies and uh, so definitely wanted to see that in uh, vivo next 3 but unfortunately we just got uh, one bottom firing speaker uh, uh, on the vivo next 3 and uh, that for me was a little downfall and to be honest it makes uh, video watching uh, really fun so one bottom firing mono speaker was a little let down so we got 64 megapixel uh, on uh, vivo next 3 but uh, as you can see uh, for me it's too bright it's not matching the floor i'm uh, recording right now and on the oneplus 7 pro uh, it's uh, 48 megapixel and uh, as you can see it's uh, more greener uh, like uh, the floor i'm using right now both the devices are really quick when it comes to loading apps and games for example you can see here it's not much of a difference uh, when it comes to loading applications and if you go in insta it's fairly quick on vivo next 3 we don't have actually a app drawer as you have on oneplus 7 pro but in uh, in future update we might have a app drawer if you want one oneplus 7 pro is a little bit smaller than uh, vivo next 3 as you can see it's not a big deal but yeah there is a difference as you can see So let's move on into unlocking the phone so let's see uh, which one is fastest uh, so you can see the both devices are fairly quick and uh, there is not much of a difference when it comes to fingerprint uh, unlocking and both devices got face unlock as well on the vivo next 3 you don't uh, have any buttons at the side you have a physical power button on the top and that's it because of the screen they had to remove all the physical buttons at the sides because of the giant screen you got because of the waterfall display they had to put the uh, hectic uh, buttons uh, at the sides volume down and volume up and plus uh, power button as well so on the oneplus 7 pro you got a power button at the side and uh, volume uh, down and uh, volume down and up button and uh, there is a button for uh, switching between the ringing and silent 
and uh, on vivo nexty there is no buttons whatsoever just uh, three buttons at the side uh, so for example if you press the the power button it just makes you feel like you're pressing a button actually but uh, it's just a uh, hectic feedback so you just get a vibration when you just pressing the side of the screen basically let's just uh, download a large file from uh, play store for example let's just download a uh, pubg and see how long it takes to uh, download it because uh, uh, remember shouldn't be any problem on both the devices because uh, they run on a fairly powerful uh, processes uh, for example uh, vivo next 3 is uh, running on a uh, quadcom uh, 855 plus and oneplus uh, uh, is also running quadcom 855 and uh, on the vivo next 3 you got uh, 8 gb of ram and on oneplus uh, you got a uh, 6 uh, sorry 6 gb of ram both phones got a thermal cooling system uh, if you are a gamer and you're doing long sessions of gaming on these phones uh, that shouldn't be any problem now when it comes to camera uh, i have to say uh, vivo next 3 has a 64 megapixel compared to 48 megapixel on the oneplus 7 pro uh, so you can see uh, if you like zoom in and if you want really good pictures i think vivo next 3 is a better option if you are into photography and uh, that sort of things both phones got a triple set of cameras uh, vivo next 3 got 13 plus the another 13 megapixel of camera and uh, a oneplus 7 pro got 8 megapixel plus 16 megapixel of camera as well oneplus 7 pro uh, don't have a headphone jack and uh, vivo next e has a, a headphone jack uh, it's nice to see both phones come with huge batteries uh, on vivo next 3 we got 4500 milliamp hour battery and one oneplus uh, uh, 7 Pro we got 4000 mAh battery and uh, both the phones uh, actually support uh, fast charging so charging these phones shouldn't be any problem uh, the vivo x3 comes with the 44 watts charger and uh, oneplus 7 pro comes with 30 watts of charger with the warp charging on oneplus 7 pro and uh, flash charging on vivo x3 both these devices come with a dual sim slot if you want to use uh, two sim cards on these phones uh, that shouldn't be any problem so guys that's it uh, if you like this video please thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you very much